Hey everyone, how are you going? My name is Koja Lima, this is my Minecraft Solo Survival Series, and it's absolutely great to have you here. We're going to start today's episode by making a squid farm. Before we can build the farm, I've got to drain some more water, so I will be right back. I will need to drain the others to make the farm more efficient, but it takes 15-ish minutes per line, and there's like 10 other lines, so that's going to be like... a long time? Which is time I don't have right now, because I've had a busy couple of weeks, and I want to get this episode out on time. So for now, we're just going to build the farm, and I'll drain the rest another time. done some testing and I don't think this is going to work at all until I've drained the surrounding areas so annoyingly I'm gonna have to do it. One eternity later. One thing I do love about using sponges is drying them out in the nether. It's just such a satisfying sound. Anyway it's done minus decoration which definitely can wait for another time because I'm already way behind schedule in this video and I'm stressed and anxious and I don't know if I'm gonna get it done on time if you guys are gonna like it or not or <clears throat> so, let me briefly explain how this farm works. We sit up the top, squids spawn down the bottom here. Let me just use the cheat cam to show you better. They drop out of the water streams, and then we collect the insects in the hoppers at the bottom. I loosely use a design by Regund. Regund. I'll leave the link to that video in the description, but typically squid farms are built in river biomes, and this is actually an ocean biome. So it still works. When you're up at the top, it only spawns squid, but if you get a little closer, it will spawn tropical fish instead. So it's kind of a two-in-one farm. The dolphins are a slight problem too because they use that mob cap for the squids. This guy won't stop bouncing. Bye, have a great time. Anyway, we're going to leave the squid farm behind for now, literally. I've made a little progress on the castle up here. I've finished the hallway on this side too, and I've started the staircase here, which is going to be the next phase of the build. But yeah, this side is all done too now. All right, now it's time to do something I've been putting off for a long time. Update my game. Here goes. Let me get out of the castle. It looks exactly the same. Just kidding, I knew it would. The only real thing that's changed is the new mobs they've added, which we are going to go and find right now. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. The first one we're looking for is the armadillo. They spawn in the savannah, so there should be some nearby. I keep trying to zoom and forgetting I don't have my mods on this update yet. Anyway, let's get looking for some armadillos. Trying is the first step towards failure. So I did a Google and it appears that the new mobs will not spawn in old chunks, which means I'm going to have to go on a bit of a trek to find them. I'm going to utilize the nether to make it a little easier. All right, here we go. You know, one thing I did not bring was a bed. All right, I found a couple. They're so cute. You can brush them too for scoot. And yeah, got an advancement for that. We're going to try and breed them. I think they're probably too far apart. Wow, oh, the brush doesn't go far, does it? So I've got them on the nether roof, but now I've got to take them all the way back home. This might take a while. The armadillos are adorable. They have this little animation they do when they get scared. How cute is that?
Anyway, I'm going to breed them and make a little scoop farm eventually. You can brush them for it, but they also drop it by themselves every so often, so I think I'll just let it happen naturally. I won't need loads, but the scoop can be made into wolf armor. I forgot we were going to get the 2x2 two two advancement again, it's just updated because there's a new mob. Wolf armor! So, I think there's an advancement here somewhere, I can't quite remember what it is. I think maybe shearing it off? Yeah, there you go. I think there's another one. So yeah, repairing the armor once it's been damaged with more scoot gives you the good as new advancement. Don't ask how it got damaged in the first place. Anyway, the wolf armor is related to what we're doing next. Looking for wolves. Eight wolf variants have been added, so finally we don't just have the plain white ones. And here's the first one. The rusty variant spawns in the sparse jungle. Let's just tame him. One down, seven to go. That took so much longer than I thought it would. I had a few more, lost some of them along the way, but it's fine. I can just breed up the ones I have. Also got the whole pack advancement for finding one of each variant and taming them. All right, we're back at the castle and we've got our dogs. I have to say, I think my favorite is this one, the rusty one found in the sparse jungle. It's nice to have some variety at last. It actually made me want dogs. Normally I'm not that bothered. But yeah, I'm gonna just breed them up a little bit. Try and make sure I've got at least two of each. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favourite. I just came over to check on the squid farm and, well, this is happening. This episode is probably going to end up being a little shorter than usual, but I have put a lot of off-camera hours into it, so I hope you're enjoying it anyway, and if you are, drop a like. I mentioned mods before, I honestly don't know if they're going to be ready for my next episode either. And you may have noticed the performance isn't quite the same. Render distance is a lot lower than usual. I think what happened is they started making all the mods for 1.20.5 and then 1.20.6 came out and nobody was expecting it. So it's taking a little longer than usual. Anyway, regardless of mods or not, as much fun as I've had this episode with the new stuff. Next time, I think I'll be back to the grind, probably working more on the castle. This area over here, well, this is where I'm going to put all my librarian villages. I have this image in my head of what I want it to look like, so I'm going to have to play around a bit, see if I can make it a reality or not. Fingers crossed I can though. Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Like I said, it's probably a little short, but it was packed full of fun, right? Drop a like if you've enjoyed, and if you're brand new, consider subscribing. I will see you all next time. Have a great couple of weeks. Bye!